Hello there, guys. This is Kirov speaking, and again, I'm joined by none other than Daffy. I'm the artist. So let's play one of the scenarios. In this case, we're going to play Cold Steel Taxi, and this should be interesting because I've barely played any of these before. Yeah, right. And this scenario is about building an engine for a an APC an armored personal carrier, and it's a very light APC, it just weighs 12 tons, <laughs> and the engine should, um, well, not weigh more than that, I would say, but uh, let's see. Close. <laughs> let's Quite see a large engine. Do. I'd imagine so. Uh, yeah. So. Also, we are running very old tech. This is just after World War II, and, well, uh, we don't have fancy fancy tech stuff there yet. Not at but all. We will try to go for VVT, VVL, don't we? <laughs> yes, though I think in the 40s that probably consists of a man with a spanner changing the camp timing. So, <laughs> not, not that effective. So let's start with a really yes. big honking great iron V8. It's going to be a good start, uh, I feel. Yep. We can uh, start with that one, it should do fine, yes. Just go for maximum size we have here, right yeah. now, 10 litres. Right, okay. Probably so Probably heavy duty stuff, I'd imagine, because it needs to be needs to have a long lifespan and make a lot of torque. Yes. Yes, I fully agree. Let's go for that. What do you say about flywheel mass? Uh, well, I'd say if we want it to live a long time, we want to absorb all those vibrations, and we don't really care if the engine's a bit heavy. So let's just no, chuck it, a big it one on. Like, those 10 kilos extra won't really matter for a 12-ton No, vehicle. I don't think it'll even notice somehow. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay, so I guess top end we want something like all over that gamut, that's going to be really expensive in the 40s. We just want something big exactly. and solid. Exactly. Maybe We do have a cost restraint here, so we want to go for either push rods or direct acting overhead cam. Probably and direct acting. It's like super reliable and quite cheap. Yes. So Let's try that. Yeah, that's looking, looking like what we And we, we go for eight valves? Yep. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, our only option? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit slow there. <laughs> um... No. Cast iron no. heads, again, our only option. Nice and heavy. Yeah. Now, what 1940s fuel, if I remember correctly, is not going to like 9.8 to 1. No, they don't. We could start off by like 7 to 1. Yeah, that, that feels about right, especially with like dodgy old 40s carvies and stuff. Let's, let's try 7 to 1. Uh, okay, uh, what about cam profile? This is, this is always one of the most important options for every engine. Yeah, it's and like here, pretty much the defining uh, thing of how the engine works, to be honest. Yes. So, economy we have. Yeah, and so. And have a very old engine with dodgy carbitec, and it should last long as well. So, we want so low revving and economical. Things, those two things say one thing, which is a very low cam profile. Very much so. If so, if you go like 10 or something. Let's try like 10 or 12, yeah, see how that goes. Yeah. And sadly, no man with a spanner changing our valve timing. Sadly, yes. Set okay. our valve timing down nice and low, I guess, to give us lots of bottom yep. end. Something Sounds uh, good. Badish. Our fuel system. This fuel is, system. This is actually quite complex, even. In this era, there's still quite a lot of options. Has to be some yes, sort of carburetor. Have. So, here the problem basically is we have a huge engine and we have to produce quite a bit of power from it though mm. and uh, That's gonna those carburetors are limiting how much how much fuel and air we suck into them so I think we at least have to go for a two barrel twin setup but you yeah, yeah. let's let's give that a go we probably any of those race intakes will just make it inhale dust and be all unhappy in a tank <laughs> so probably just a nice dust and bullets dust and bullets <laughs> yes you don't want those in your intake uh, so a nice nope. bulletproof intake and it looks like a tank, which uh, is a racing a tank, like, admittedly. <laughs> it's it's like tankception. Like, <laughs> let's uh, let's have a tank <laughs> let's have a, a tank. tank in your tank. Why why do we let you think? I'm not sure sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> apparently, the, apparently the poor army, the worst of their problems is um being stuck with dodgy old ninety two octane leaded. And oh, now we have a very important option here. Yeah. Uh, we want to create power, but we are supposed to have run on good economy. So, uh, mid-low setting, maybe? Yeah, let's try sort of 20-ish, see how that goes. We'll leave timing Oops. at 50 and see if it pings itself to death. It may do. 
Right. Maybe, do, but this is this is forced to change a bit later. Exactly, it's a little bit of tweaking right. to get it right. Uh, and... 5A, it will disintegrate by yeah, itself let's, without let's... Bull help of bullets. Exactly. So, um, let's see what happens if it goes to 4. I reckon it'll survive. I think 4,000 is the limit for our um, heavy duty uh, crank uh, or yeah, rod cranks, yeah. Um So if you put it to 3. Eight or three nine. Yeah, just to avoid stressing it quite so much. Let's yeah. Let's see how how this handles it. We probably want cheap and nasty <coughs> manifolds because we don't have much money. Only yes. Eleven hundred to spend. Uh, we off. don't have that much, you know. Poor army. Exactly. Um, and uh, single exhaust, but we need to make it a bit larger. We are so aiming at four hundred something horsepower, so we should have two hundred and forty one actually. Yes. So we so need a bit over that to give it some room to breathe. That should do. That looks perfect. Could be under 10 is perfect. And it still wants to be quiet, apparently, so let's run a pair of mufflers. Oh, shit, we have the shizer muffler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only muffler you get. Uh, well, I guess all that remains is to fire it up and... Uh... Oh, ex no, wait a second. Uh -huh. Awesome. You, you we have the tech range, you see. If you up it to 1950, something else gets available. Ah, future mufflers. Yeah, you mufflers from the future. <laughs> let's try it. Let's see how this goes. That's awesome. This one. It looks like a bit it's knocking. Yeah. It's not even yeah. But only slightly, yes, this definitely <laughs> just yes. one hundred seventy Yeah, happy. yeah. Okay, this is two steps of run above, so we need to lower compression by five steps. Glad you've memorized that. Actually, hold on a sec, pause recording. Okay, so we'll drop it down. Five steps. And let's try again. Oh. Yeah, let's just test it again. That's looking happier. Oh, much happier. These are happy times. Hey! Let's I finally yeah. beat my own scenario, just. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And I think that's that's basically it. We and let that, the and optimization stuff for you. Yeah, and that's basically living proof that just because you make a game doesn't mean you're any good at playing it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But so, there we go, that's one of the V8 scenarios. And come yeah. July 4th, um, everybody who's bought it will be able to play quite a few different V8 scenarios and, as well as build a whole lot of wacky and wonderful V8s of their own. So, hope That's you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.